Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at confidence intervals for the mean. A random sample of 200 policy surrender values in units of 1000 yields a mean of 43.6, which is 43.6 thousand, and a standard deviation of 82.2. Determine a 99% confidence interval for the true underlying mean surrender, va surrender value for such policies. So this is a straightforward enough one. Just something to remark upon is that we have a large sample size here. And also just to note that in this instance, we're going for a 99% confidence interval, okay? So ultimately what we're doing here is we're just setting, sorry, just scroll back up at the top. Essentially, this is the key part here, okay? This is just the general structure for confidence intervals. Uh, that you might be sort of familiar, uh, coming across in statistical undergraduate courses, okay? So a point estimate plus or minus a quantile times the standard error. Now in this particular instance, what we're looking at is a sample mean, a quantile, which is a, a value from probability di distribution that scales the intervals accordingly, and then a standard error. Now the point estimate is fairly straightforward. We were actually given that in the question. The quantile, not such a straightforward matter, and again, it's not something I'm going to deal with in great detail in this video, but it's 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 a body of knowledge that doesn't take too much time to build up. And then finally, the standard error, N. Okay, so actually, I'm just going to sort of very quickly discuss what confidence interval or what quantile we need. So we have a 99% confidence interval. Now that is a significance level of 1% alpha. So if you're trying to sort of figure out what the value is in the tables, you should get 2.576. Okay, so that's the quantile we're going to be dealing with. If you're not familiar with this part here, where all this comes from, that should have a bracket on the other end as well. So we'll move down to the standard error, which is the third part. Standard errors are for confidence intervals of single sample parameter estimates okay so essentially these are two formulas here oops didn't mean to have it that big never mind but essentially it's this one here in particular so that this is proportions so we're not dealing with this one but we are dealing with this one here okay uh this is the mean here okay now it's sigma divided by the square root of n so this is the correct formula but what we do here is that we if we don't know what sigma is we use the sample standard deviation as an estimate so essentially what we're saying here is that we estimate it probably actually better to say approximate it as s over the square root of n okay so we know what n is it's 200 square root of 200 we know what s is it is 82.2 so essentially what we have is to put everything everything together I, I meant to put in the sample mean there that is 43.6 thousand for a large sample the quantile of a 99 percent confidence interval is 2.576 the sample size is large the standard error is as follows actually just as a quick remark i probably should have this is a little bit redundant it's just to actually sort of if if we're dealing with small samples where small samples typically means n is less than 30 we use a different approach for finding the quantiles. We use the st uh, student t distribution. But just to sort of remember, we're dealing with a large sample here, and that is relevant in how we do things. Standard error is 82 over 82.2 divided by the square root of 200, and again that is s over the square root of n, where s is the estimate for sigma. Okay. That gives us 82.2 divided by the square root of 200. Bit of calculator work, 5.8124. So I think we're just ready now to put everything everything together. Our 95% confidence interval is our point estimate plus or minus our quantile times standard error. X bar plus or minus 2.578. I think that should be six. I think that's a typo. Yeah, 2.576. Not a big typo, but just it might make my number uh, bring my numbers a little bit off. So 43.6 plus or minus 2.576 times 5.8124. We should get numbers close to this. 43.6 plus or minus 14.98. So that is 
28.62 and 58.58. That's the upper and lower limit of our confidence interval. So you could just write a little sentence there at the end just to finish it off there. Just to actually state it, just to sort of make a little statement at the end there about what we're saying. Okay. It's almost just like, what is the question? What uh, what the question is and with the number. Okay. That's all, all I'm really doing there. All right. Okay. That's grand. So what really to remember, this bit helps a lot. It, it helps that you really know what you're doing. Square, uh, S over the square root of N as an estimate for sigma over the square root of N. Okay. We'll leave it there.